a joint fires team, call sign Whiplash 70, consisting of a joint terminal attack controller, JTAC, joint fires observer, JFO, and an Army Ford observer, FO, are inserted via Blackhawk into a clearing slightly below a mountain outcropping, where they are to establish an observation post to prepare the valley below for a company air assault. The Joint Fires team knows there are considerable fire support assets available from both the Army and the Air Force, but efficient complementary use will ensure mission success. There are planned close air support CAS, targets in the valley. Two F-15s, call sign Bobo, will destroy two buildings known as a car bomb factory. The Joint Fires team must establish their observation point, but first have to break contact. As the Blackhawks lift off, they confirm the location of the enemy position to the Army Ford Observer. The Ford Observer initiates a call for fire to the field artillery and directs indirect fire support onto the enemy forces. Then the fires team continues their mission to establish their OP. The Joint Fires team plans a linear priority target with the field artillery to disrupt any enemy advance on their position, then transmits it digitally via PFED and begins infiltration of the hillside toward their OP. On their ascent, they take mortar fire. Immediately, Army counterfire systems locate and begin targeting the mortar. The Joint Fires team deconflicts the airspace by sending the F-15 flight Bobo above 10,000 feet. This ensures the aircraft will clear the maximum ordnance of the field artillery shells. Once Bobo confirms he is at the safe altitude, the counterfiring unit engages the mortar. Whiplash establishes an OP on the outcropping and begins setting up for combat lazing and observing the enemy. Whiplash spots what could be an Anna aircraft, AAA emplacement. The Joint Fires team must now carefully analyze destroying that position before it can affect the F-15 flight or the air assault. The Army Ford Observer works a call for fire to destroy the emplacement while the JTAC talks Bobo on station and orients him to the target. Once the field artillery gives end of mission and the Army Ford Observer confirms the emplacement is destroyed, the JTAC provides terminal control for Bobo to deliver four 500-pound bombs. With the JTAC confirming target buildings destroyed, the air assault is launched. 